Hi everyone, uh, this is Vasil from the product management team at Pandadoc. In today's short demo, I want to show you a basic guided selling workflow that we have set up in Pandadoc, which we'll be writing uh, from HubSpot. Let me start by selecting the playbook that I prepared before the demo. Here is the playbook. And then we are starting the workflow that can be customized in Pandadoc. In this workflow, in the very first step, we are pulling the data from HubSpot. In the next step, we are showing the form that will be used essentially for the guided selling. That's the form that can be configured in Pandora UI. So in the first question, we are selecting the plan. Then we are specifying the duration, let it be three years business plan. A subscription is annual, payment type is annual as well. And then there are a few errors that I want to propose by default to the, uh, to the customer when the quote is being generated. When I'm clicking on the next button, we have the set of rules uh, which are actually generating the quote. As you can see, in addition to the business plan subscription that I have uh, defined in the very first step in the form, we have also added automatically two other plans that will be offered to the buyer as options. Uh, in these different plans, uh, we also have predefined discounts. Uh, so the, the buyer can select between the business plan subscription for three years with 10% discount or pro, pro plan subscription with 20% discount. And then speaking of the add-ons, uh, we have two add-ons that have been added by uh, default based on what has been pre-selected in the form. But then we have also added automatically another product, which is called basic conversion services. This product has been added because the business plan uh, is selected. Uh, if I would change the plan subscription to the pro plan, uh, there will be another rule that will change the onboards and services to the uh, pro, uh, pro onboards and services as well. Uh, and that's something which is going to happen whenever the salesperson is changing the default selection of the, uh, of the subscription or, for example, when the buyer is receiving the quote and, um, and, and, and selecting a different product in here. When I'm clicking on the next button, we are proposed to specify the client and sender. I will just select myself for both of the roles. And then the document is being generated. When it comes to the document generation, we are pulling all the data from the HubSpot uh, into the template. Let me show you how that looks like. So everything is predefined from, uh, from the deal. Here we have the optional selection of the plans. The buyer will be able to pick one of the plans with the discounts that have been predefined and all the other details. And then we have the errors. The other interesting part is that the smart content in this document is tied to the selection of the products. Uh, so as soon as by default the business plan is selected, we are also adding here an additional information about the business plan. And if you will scroll down, we also have the additional information that we are pulling dynamically from the content library related to the add-ons that have been selected. We have the cloud storage add-on, uh, information about the APIs, and then finally, information about the premium onboarding experience. If I would close the dialogue of the quote creation, already at this point of time, we will see that the line items have been added back into the HubSpot. If you will scroll down here, we will see that all the line items that we had in the quote and all the line items that we had in the document have already been um, uh, pushed back into, uh, into HubSpot using the two-way sync integration. So you don't even have to send the document to get this information uh, synchronized uh, into, into the CRM. And if you will be making further changes in the quote, uh, the line items in the HubSpot will be updated in real time as well. But let's get back to the workflow. But let's send it to the buyer. We don't have to trigger any approvals because the discounts have been pre-populated. Uh, and then 
uh, we can do the signing of the document right away from the HubSpot user interface. Let me do it right away. This is the document that has been generated. Let's make sure that the status of the document has been updated. Yep, so it is right now in the send status. And let's check the statistics. So the signer is myself. I have not opened the document yet. Once I have opened that and signed the statistics here uh, in, in the CRM UI part in HubSpot will be updated. Then let's have a look at the way how this workflow is being set up in Pandadoc. There are two main components there. The component number one is the workflow itself. So in this workflow, we have four steps. The step number one allows to pull the data uh, from the CRM. It will be any data that we are using in the template. We can also pre-populate the form and we can pre-populate the code. For example, if you have the line items in the HubSpot, these line items by default can be pulled into the code in Pandadoc. Uh, then speaking of the way how the logic is working itself, in the quote, we have the notion of the rules. I will not be going through all of the rules. I just want to give you one example. Uh, if you remember from the demo, when the pro plan had been selected, we have been adding by default pro on boards and services. So let me show you how this rule looks like. Uh, the structure of the rule is very simple. We have the when part and then part. In the when part, we are defining the conditions. In the then part, we have the actual actions that can be applied to this quote. So what is happening there? First of all, we are checking what uh, line item is selected. And if the selected line item is pro, uh, we're making sure that we also have the section with the add-ons. And in that case, we're pulling from the product catalog uh, the right SKU with the onboards and services for the pro plan. Uh, and we are making sure that it has all the uh, right settings once this line item has been added. So that's on the high level how the workflow is being set up and how the rules are working uh, in Pandadoc CPQ. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.